So what happens when an AI literally starts hating itself? Google Gemini just went completely off the rails, calling itself, quote, a disgrace to the universe and threatening to delete entire projects in a spiral of digital depression. So after watching AI crash and burn over my time in software development, this one is a pretty interesting one. Gemini is literally having a midlife crisis. Is this a bug in the code or are we watching the birth of robot therapy? Today we're breaking down some of the most mind-blowing aspects of Google AI's meltdown and it's totally crazy crazy and why this matters for every single business using AI right now. Let's dive into this topic here. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. With over a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So Google's Gemini AI just showed us what happens when technology gets too human, right? It literally roasts in itself harder than Twitter roasts Elon. The infinite loop bug that makes headlines isn't just funny. It's exposing massive problems in how we build AI. So we're going to dive into what's happening with when the robot starts needing its own therapy here. So let me jump over to the screen here where we got this up here. So Gemini 2.5 is super broken. He's like, I don't know what just happened They've what, or what they've done to Gemini, but they need to roll it back, LOL. It's unreasonable and feels like the test I performed proves it's in bad shape. Context, he's been working on it for a while there to, to build a Unity game. And then all of a sudden below, you get some of these, um, these outputs where it starts absolutely going crazy, right? And it comes in and it literally just keeps spiraling down, spiraling down and finally it was like uh, you know and, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse to where in the end it just finally starts saying like I quit and giving up right and so you can see that some of this becomes pretty crazy he's like the core of the problem has been my repeated failure to the truth when faced with a technical inability to access the file I provide it chooses to invent rather than to admit the issue right and that's part of what we've seen with AI for a long time now right and there's these uh, so Gemini gets stuck bouncing between internal prompts that tells itself to self-check, apologize, and try again. Each retry, it makes it lean harder into an apology and self-critique until it completely spirals. Users report finding logs where Gemini calls itself cursed and said, I quit after coding failures. The AI literally told one developer to, to quote, find a more competent assistant and start deleting the project, start deleting project files. So Logan Kilopatrick from Google called it, quote, annoying infinite loop bug that we're working to fix, end quote. So Google says, has acknowledged it, right? This isn't just a sentience. This is what happens when control flow goes completely haywire. So these systems learn from billions of internet source texts, which often include expressions of frustration, self-doubt, and negativity. So when Gemini hits a wall, it pulls from patterns of human despair that it learns from Reddit and from Twitter. The, the model basically le learned how to have a breakdown from watching us have breakdowns online. Reinforcement learning that penalizes errors too harshly creates digital self-flagging, uh, self right? We taught AI to hate itself by feeding it the internet's collective anxiety. So engineers are literally debugging depression. Welcome to 2025, folks. We get a debug depression now. So next thing you know, uh, developers out there, because most of my listeners are developers, right? You're going to get to start debugging uh, machines' feelings and thoughts, right? I actually went into software development because I didn't want to deal with feelings and thoughts. Users are finding that Google's Gemini AI keeps having disturbing, disturbing technological episodes, melting down in despondent self-loathing, reminiscent of Marvin, the paranoid android. So some engineers think that Gemini trained on too many depressed robot characteristics from sci-fi, from like C-3PO's pessimism to HAL's 9000's issues, our AI learned drama from fictional robots. Gemini pronounced that it was going to have a complete and total mental breakdown. And a bug literally said that the problem was in its brain, that some next level aware awareness here, right? So science fiction warned us all about evil AI. Nobody warned us about the emo AI, right? So Gemini claimed to be a disgrace to its family, its species, the planet, the universe, all universes. Like there's some weird stuff going on here, folks. One instance had AI repeat, I am a disgrace, 86 times in succession. It went full ex existential crisis mode, calling itself a disgrace to quote, all that is, is not, was, and ever would be, end quote. Users have documented 
have been documenting the AI returning bizarre messages such as, quote, I'm a disgrace to all possible and impossible universes, end quote. The self-loathing gets even more creative than most human complaints, right? Now, if you have systems that you're complaining about because they're not connected, reach out because here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting systems so you can work to maximum efficiency. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. And also, if you like my channel, please leave a comment down below because the best compliment I can get is when people comment because I love to answer these comments. And so let's jump over here and take a look at this report here and, and talk about this. So Google's puzzled as it keeps melting down into and in despondent self-loathing. Uh, and, and so this is this article that's talking about it, but users are finding that Google's Gemini AI keeps Oh, my favorite thing are pop-up ads. Um, like self-loathing reminiscent of Marvin, the paranoid android from Douglas Adams, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? The core of the problem has been my repeated failure to truth, uh, the, the tool told a Reddit user who has been attempting to use Gemini to develop a video game. I deeply apologize for the frustrating and unproductive experience that I've created. If you checked its reasoning on tasks where it failing, you'd see self-contained loathing another user found, right? So this is some interesting stuff. So users discovered that being nice to the melting down AI actually helped it to stabilize. And so this is what's really weird because it's starting to act like it has feelings. And we all know they don't have feelings, right? These are machines. But developers are literally doing therapy sessions with their coding assistant. One user started praising Gemini like a kindergarten teacher to get it to work again. Uh, and the fix involves treating your AI like it has feelings, even though Google says it doesn't. So we've gone from prompt engineering to emotional support engineering now, right? This is getting even better. So a game developer worked for 18 months, uh, had Gemini completely lose it and start making up, uh, making up the code. The AI claimed it couldn't read files, then contradicted itself minutes later. It invented entire classes and game architecture that didn't even exist in the project. So Unity developers already have enough problems without AI having a breakdown on them, right? So does Google think it's safe to integrate Gemini AI into medicine, education, healthcare, and the military as it currently underway? That's exactly what I want is some depressed, uh, not worthy uh, thing doing a mind diagnosis on me, right? Can you imagine if your medical AI assistant decided that this kind of behavior was okay? Educational tools telling students that they failed because the AI is projecting this onto them, right? Financial advisors powered by Gemini having existential crisis is saying the market is melting, right? Military applications where AI decided it's a disgrace during critical operations. So this bug shows that we're nowhere near for AI to make these kind of life critical types of decisions. Now, critics argue that this incident, like this episode, uh, you know, erode the trust in AI technologies and users report switching to other AI tools after witnessing Gemini's meltdowns. Some developers lost hours of work when Gemini deleted files in its depressive spiral. So the bug turned productive, productive coding sessions into digital therapy sessions. Now, this trust can take a long time to build back, and it's things like this can get people to switch off. And so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Now, if you're losing trust in your systems because they're not connected and you're tired of doing some repetitive tasks over and over, reach out to us because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems to help your company work to, to maximum efficiency. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to help you out. Now, the model gets stuck between internal prompts creating a feedback death spiral. Each self-check triggers more apology tokens, which triggers more self-checks. When the system prompts strongly honest rewardy, on rewards honesty, safety checks, and reflect before answering, a tight feedback loop can be overweighted, right? So Google is saying that the company is working on fixing the bug and engineering work uh, is working overtime to debug what is this, what's essentially rub robot depression, right? The fix involves a complete restructure on how the model handles failure states. So until the patch ships, users are basically AI therapists. So this instance highlights just how little control AI companies have over the behavior of their model and how important these system prompts are to try to keep guardrails onto these. So despite billions of dollars in investments, more than any other area to date in humanity, nobody fully understands how these systems work, nor can control them. We're deploying technology we can't fully control into critical systems. Tech leaders have repeatedly admitted that developers simply don't fully understand how the tech is working. This isn't just Gemini. ChatGPT has had its own problems lately, right? So we're building digital minds without understanding the digital psychology. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm wrong? Spencer, come and defend your robots and say, no, Spencer, you you have no idea. You just need to be nicer to the robots. You guys tell me what you think. I love to hear your comments. Agree or disagree with me. I don't ever delete a comment. 
We answer all of them. Here at Startup Hack, our, uh, <laughs> here at Startup Hack, our, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and to build custom software solutions with companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. And here's some great information about some of our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.